Welcome back viewers. Today we'll be discussing the importance of temperature and relative humidity equipment when dealing with broilers. Now, well, it is quite common that as in the tropical conditions in which we live, there is always this fight with heat stress and, and, and the broilers. And so it's always important that you pay some amount of attention to our brooding temperatures. Now, an area where we pay least attention to is the floor temperature. And if we pay attention to the floor temperature, we realize that at that temperature, the body re requires 35 degrees Celsius um, at the optimum range. Two hours prior to the actual bringing in the board, we need to test that room to ensure it's at 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And any change, and at that same time, what is critical is that if there is any change in the relative humidity, it tends to go a little um, in the negative side because it has adverse effect um, to the board. As a general rule, um, the in-house temperature should be at 32 degrees and the relative humidity between 65 and 70 degrees. Um, and so we must never forget that the element of concern is the floor temperature, which should be at 32 degrees um, Celsius at the lowest level. Now, if the temperature drops, let's say below 35 degrees C, let's say below 32 degrees C, and what would happen? The board by itself would undergo an oxygen depletion, and this would cause severe difficulties to the board. In fact, the floor temperature should be monitored, as I previously said, two hours before the boards come in, and it should never go below this um, 32 degrees C um, that is required upon the arrival of the chickens. Now between days 3 and 4, the relative humidity should go no lower than 55 and 60 percent. And between days 7 or at day 7, the relative humidity should be about 50 to 60 percent. If the relative humidity falls below 60 percent within the first three days, then there are many, many issues that may be developed. The chickens, one, will tend to dehydrate and the mortality amongst chickens will tend to spike. And this will contribute even further to an even growth. And what we're about to do just now is to demonstrate the use of dry bulb thermometer and relative humidity equipment. Now, the temperature should be about 95 degrees, as said, which is roughly 35 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity. Now when we add these two together, we must never exceed 150, 150, when we calculate. So 95, which would have been the degrees Fahrenheit, plus 50 would give us a total of 145. And this is very, very critical for us because if we overstep this level, then there are, there are a number of things that are going to happen. So. The relative pH, the relative R rates, I'm sorry, if it goes, let's say, 45, it would cause irritation of the respiratory system. And if the R rate exceeds 65, it creates a condition where the board have great difficulty um, in terms of breeding. What you're looking at here is the temperature and relative humidity um, equipment. Now, it is operated with a 3AA battery. I don't know if I'm getting it right to show you. It's a little bit dark. As you can see it here. And this is the back of the equipment. So what I'm going to do is to install it into the equipment. And this little gadget is what's going to help us um, with our brooding and taking care of our baby piglets. If you look, it is offering a number of readings, which I wish to show you. It is saying that the temperature is now 30.3 degrees C, and there is 73% relative humidity. Now we'll go about, I'll show you how it works. So we'll reset the values. Here it's reset. And then we will tell it that look, we would like to read in Fahrenheit. And here you see it's now registering 65.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 
with 73% relative humidity. But then let's go further. We like to know the minimum range. So the maximum range is 8 to 6.2 degrees Fahrenheit with 73% relative humidity. And then the minimum range happens to be 8 to 6 degrees Fahrenheit with 73% relative humidity. Always remember, viewers, that this instrument is very critical in ensuring that the welfare of our piglets and the welfare of our chickens are always of importance. And this instrument can help us. So I advise you that whenever you brood again, or whenever you actually rear a batch of piglets, that you pay close attention and have one of these equipment in your farm or at the place for brooding. And I know that in most brooding houses in Guyana, this particular equipment is not quite present and prevalent. And I do encourage you to purchase it. It is not very expensive, but the benefits of having it is quite astonishing.